What is good, Queendom crew? Welcome back to the Queendom. It's your girl, Nini, and today I'm giving you guys another bomb wig review. It is not on this unit that I'm wearing right here. This one was actually from Amazon.com for about $7. So this was my last wig review. If you guys want to see it, I'll leave it in the end screen so you guys don't even have to search for it. Watch to the end and then click the video and you will go straight there. But today I'm giving you guys another unit. This one is a shorty for summer. So the unit I'm giving you guys today is an affordable wig. It is a shorter unit. I have not done a lot of shorter units, but I know you guys are in this summer heat and you need something that is light and easy and as well as something affordable. So these next couple of wigs that I'll have coming up in the next coming months will be just that. They will be very affordable. If they are not, I'll definitely let you guys know. But for for the majority and y'all disregard this weird eyelash she acting crazy today but that's okay god is still in control okay but anyways this one is a shorter one so let me know what you guys think and i'll see you in a few minutes all right, queens, let me go ahead and tell you guys some details about this unit while I try it on. And make sure you guys watch to the end because I am going to show you exactly how I customize this unit to my liking and how it looks on the back. So what I love about this unit, as you can see as I'm showing you the construction, is that the back is kind of feathered. So it looks more like an actual cut instead of a wig. But let me just tell you about the construction first because I'm getting ahead of myself because clearly I really like this unit. So this is um, a heat resistant fiber. This is a synthetic unit. The cap size was big head friendly and um, it does have ear tabs to secure the fits of this unit. It doesn't have any combs in the front of the cap but it does have an adjustable band which you can adjust the cap size to and that is in the nape so guys for this unit what i did was go ahead and try it on and just fill it out from there i did customize the side hairs that were on i guess they're supposed to be like sideburns basically they were a little long and thick for my liking so i did cut them down and add some edge control just to lay them down a little bit from there i went ahead and brushed out the back side of the unit but i didn't brush out the front because I really like the way that the curls were at the top of the unit and I knew once I brushed them out they would get really big and curly. Not that that's a bad thing but I'd rather do that later on in the process of wearing this wig and not in the beginning. So from here I'm just framing my face. Some of the curls were a little bit longer around the ear so I just trimmed those up with my scissors and you can decide whether or not you want to trim them or not or how long or short you want to go for your unit. So with this unit, I did not get any shedding or tangling. I didn't comb through it that much, which may be why. I'm sure over time you may get some shedding since this is a shorter and a synthetic unit. But for the most part, I really am just feeling the way these curls are spiraling in the front. Now, later in the video, I am going to tell you about any cons that I see and give you my final thoughts as well as 360 view. So make sure that you guys keep watching. I'm just going to take my earrings off from my website, Another Queen Treasure, so you guys can see exactly what it looks like on the side. I felt like they were just so bold and beautiful that they were kind of blocking the details, and I wanted you guys to see it. So you guys, make sure you stay tuned to the end so you can hear my final thoughts. And thank you guys for all of your love and support. Thank you for watching through this video and continuing to support your girl. It really means a lot. Now, one thing I can say about this unit is that it was really easy to style. As you can see, it didn't take me long at all. So if you're new to the styling game, this should be perfect for you to try. Definitely a great beginner wig. All right, y'all, I'm ready to go ahead and give you my final thoughts on this unit. So this is by Isis Red Carpet. Yes, and this is the style Keisha. I have it in the color 1B. So you guys, I really love this unit. I've had this unit before once back when I was in college and I forgot how bomb she was. This unit is so crazy cute in the front like the curls are so cute you guys saw me tweak this unit i barely had to do anything and the great thing about this unit is it is affordable so you guys let me know what you think about keisha the cap size is big head friendly i'm not feeling any tightness while wearing it and of course i didn't get any shedding or tangling because i really did not comb through this now when i had it in the past i did comb through it and it got really big and just fluffy and beautiful but i'm just obsessed with the way these curls are looking right now so i'm I'm not going to do anything crazy to it. This would look so cute with a hat paired with it and all of that jazz. So y'all, let me know what you think about Keisha. Are you feeling her? And 
I am just definitely about to go get another one of these in another color because I absolutely love Keisha. Like, yes. Um, what else can I tell you about this wig? Like I said, it's very affordable. This is one of those short units that'll keep the heat off of your neck during the summertime. It's also very affordable. So you guys can save your coins with this unit as well. So let me know what you guys think about this. And make sure you guys stop by my website to get your Wig Game Strong shirt or any of the accessories that I wear in my videos. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.